Well, my people, this is Roscardo, reggae creator from Trenchtown, Jamaica. Yeah, man. Lately, I'm witnessing a whole heap of people from the internet or out on it come out. I talk about Jamaican Rastaman them and I try to berate them, intimidate them, castigate them, dehumanize them, demoralize them. Yes, man. And them using certain twisted and some very conspirational ways of twisting up and confusing ideologies with certain theologies and certain Christianities. As you can see, I'm showing on here an Ethiopian Archbishop, Abuna is his name, and them using an interview that he did with my and I brethren, the late great Jamaican journalist Ian Boyne. Them using an interview that Ian Boyne did with the Archbishop when he came to Jamaica and was interviewed by Ian. Yeah, man. And them I use it for try to bring total an affront to the dignity and spirituality of all Rastaman, especially Rastaman them in Jamaica, because them say Bob Marley's son confronted me about this viral video. That's why me have shown you it. I want you to listen to what I have to say, which other Rastaman them really not say. Listen carefully and listen good. Jamaican people and all reggae people globally. Yes, and those who haven't really known anything about it, the history, or even um, know about Rastafari. Yes, and we're Rastas got their ideology and their philosophy and all that stuff from. All right. I want to know if you know, this is Roscardo, reggae creator from Trenchtown, Jamaica. For those who don't know, for a longer time, for a long while, you have even the enemies, them against reggae, who make money off of reggae. Yes, man. All over the world, even from Jamaica, the producers them, the unscrupulous producers them, with them loophole liars and so and politicians and all that, who rob up the ghetto youths their music, including some high music, and we catch them. Yeah, man. Even take things out of my books as on a year. If we don't check out Rascal or Reggae and listen to what me I talk about over the years and who me I call out over the years. Everything is true. And even Jamaica and the producers them down there is at fault because they rob up the poor ghetto youths them. Mash up the groups them what them want for mash up. Kill off the messengers of Reggae and Rastafari who try to educate the people with the message in the music. And now you have a new set of man them spring up. Yeah man. Spring up we want to continue to crucify Rasta man by even using and twisting up things about Bob Marley. We saw the other day. Yeah, a bunch of youths, you know. One we call him named Ruslan, him and him friend, Ruslan KD, him call him friend. Yeah man, all of them have podcasts now, you know, and stuff on YouTube. And they must spin them on conspiracy theories. Aiming to destroy the philosophy, 
the ideology, the image, the reputation, the lineage, the spirituality of reggae and Rastafari, Selassie, etc., etc. I put a twist on it. We saw this thing the other day where this boy, we call himself Rosslan. If you know, we remember, you know, even the man Stephens, we have come down there every year. He was part of the reggae committee, you know. Yeah, man. For the Grammys, yeah, man. Part of it. And he stole things out of my book and twist it up. Set things against... <laughs> yeah, against Martin Plano. Set things against Martin Plano. Set things about Dan Taylor. Anybody we have anything good for say about Baba Noah music and things like that. Yeah, man, then... Yeah, let me not see even the other day. I, I mean, I used I, I put on the internet. Yeah, said that Bunny was a gangster wheeler. I will deal with that later on. But listen to what me I say right here. So, about them youths here, we are trying to indignify Rastafari. And we twist up what this Archbishop here has said about Bob Marley. Listen. Come down upon them. So now them are trying to make Rastafari look like it is nothing. They are trying to mess up all races. Yeah, man. You have a set of young white skinned boy, them, you know. Yeah, man. And who no know, say, I, I not say this from no racist standpoint, you know. But if you don't notice how oh, the Grammy people them swing the Grammy reggae record of the year, which color, skin color. I, I mean, them get the Grammy of the Year, the, I mean, award too. And of course, who don't know of Bob Marley's skin color, even though I and I Jr. birth with and our family and brethren and sisters, them protect him when he came into Trenchtown and help him to do his music. No prejudice, no racism towards him. Nothing like that. No, man. We love him and we protect him and take care of him. That's why he was able to do him work and launch out until him leave Trenchtown and go live up at 56 Oak Road, which is owned by the same white-skinned slave master's son, Chris Blackwell, who owns Island Records, who gets super wealthy of uh, our music, Trenchtown people music, because as Bonnie Wheeler did write and tell the world in his Wheeler's trilogy, murder, robbery, conspiracy of how him steal our music, change over Bob Marley thing. Yeah, man. I mean, Bob wasn't really aware of what was really hitting him, you know. No. But when Peter Tosh and Bonnie them tell him, he really never listened to that. He just went along because he just wanted to see. And so, so what happened? So they beat and switch him up. Inculcate certain things in him. Yeah, man. And them take with the music. Chris Blackwell, because when Chris Blackwell became a licensee of Cox Records, Caxon Studio One, that's how he was able to steal a lot of stuff and Caxon could have said nothing to him. And then him sell it to Polygram for millions of dollars. And then him, him create his own music situation. Yeah man, Blue Mountain Music Publishing under the Bob Marley name. And him and all of them for him retinue of followers them. Sell it out and stole the music. I want to know, no, say, this is lecture part one, you know. So, no, get ready for two and lecture three. All right? Get ready for lecture two.